Through the help of all of you and our colleagues around the world, the EPA did recognize and listed asbestos as one of the top 10 chemicals. There's no safe concentration and uh, that what we need to do, as we proposed at NIOSH in 1976, we need to ban asbestos in this country. So while we have more than 55 nations that totally banned the use of asbestos, uh, we are still in this sense a developing country here in America where it is still a legal product. This problem that we face today is that there's a, a general sense in the public and amongst a lot of workers that asbestos is no longer a problem. And that's, as we all know, just not the case. The number of Canadians that are dying of asbestos-related disease would not stop anytime soon because, of course, the latency period has continued to come into fruition. 90% of people who came in with lung cancer had advanced disease and there was very little that Dr. Flores or the surgeons could do about it and most of them died within a year or two. I was diagnosed with peritoneal mesothelioma. One of the oncologists had said, uh, hey, you have a year to live. I'm part of an ever-growing younger generation of patients that hear the horrible truth that they have been diagnosed with a generally thought of terminal disease. The worst part of this is that it could have been prevented. Power not used is power wasted. The power of the grassroots is to speak up, to demand the government of the people do the right thing for humankind, not for money-hungry corporations. You're the greatest bunch of people that I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. It will take effort, a lot of effort, from a lot of people, a lot of heroes, to get asbestos banned. If we had a ban, to outlaw asbestos product imports, but we would also be protecting American manufacturers of non-asbestos products. If we succeed, we'll be a huge step forward towards a global ban. By fighting together, we can make this an asbestos-free nation. Together, we are stronger. A luta continua, as we say in Portuguese, the struggle goes on.